Okay, everybody. It's about to okay, I want to show you how to downgrade uh, your 4.0 or 3.1.3 version down back to a 3.1.2 version. That's not full. Okay, I would go full all the way through, but it's gonna. It would take about 30 minutes to do because this computer is really slow. Okay, so and I'll show you what files you have to download off the internet. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to hold down shift. Uh, you know, shift. I don't know what it is on a Mac. I know it's something different on a Mac. I'm just going to set this down here. Try to okay, there we go. Press shift. Oops. And go to restore and press it. Okay, then all this stuff is going to pop up. Try to move this so that I can't. And you want to go to the iPod to one underscore three point one point two underscore seven D eleven or maybe different to seven D eleven. Okay, then you're gonna press restore. Hold on. Oops. And you're gonna press restore. Me extracting software. That should still be like that until. Sorry. Trying to get this to where I can use it. We'll be also paying a lot of attention. That should be like that. It's going back into factory settings, basically. Oh man, I forgot to mention to back it up. Oh, so I'm sorry. Uh, you can probably stop it by now. Well, you don't. If you just want to redo it, you can back it up. I mean, if you got money, or if you don't have nothing on there, it's okay. You don't have to back it up if you don't want to. I mean, I didn't have nothing on there, so I didn't think about it. It normally should back it up for you. Because basically all you're all you doing is restoring your, uh, saw your uh, original settings. Okay, I'm going to come back to you when it's done uh, loading. And uh, I'll be back. You back. Okay, I'm bringing you back about uh, where it's almost done, see? And that's almost done, too. I mean, it's going fast. It's already on a different thing, but that's going. That's almost done. I mean, look at it. Okay, so get, let's let that load take one minute well one second Okay, now it's going to say, uh, your iPod has been restored to factory settings, blah, 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 and it's only going to take about 10 seconds to replace it. Press OK. And now, that's going to be like that. Sorry. That's going to be like that. I'm going to go back to the Apple sign. The Apple logo. And that's going to pop up takes only about 10 seconds to do it total like for its load normally it wouldn't take as long but this is sorry it keeps on shutting off sometimes it won't take that long sometimes it will Okay, now we're up to here, where it's going to show, oops, sorry, where it's going to show this website, or it's going to call, be called setting up your iPod and it's the iTunes. Either you can restore 
from the backup of your uh, iPod. Oops. Uh, but I'm just going to say set up as that because I don't have nothing on my iPod. And I don't want to sync up my songs. I mean, just don't feel like it. And that should be like that. Sync in progress. And then basically you're, you're done. I mean, it's just syncing up everything because you got your... 3.1.2 version right there I mean you're done right there uh, thanks for watching uh, please subscribe to me this is my sec about my second video uh, and thanks bye